And now they get out of week where we win the Steeler football. And another pregame video for me to do. What's up, guys? This is the Steel Boys. Check with you guys for another pregame video. And this game is going to be an interesting game between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Arizona Cardinals. Last time, we remember the big stage where we replayed the cards. The Steelers made history that game. The Steelers made history that game. I'll play some good highlights from that Super Bowl. But, you see this? This is what happened in the Super Bowl. Last time we played the cards in the Super Bowl. We made history that game. Hold up, you up. We made history that game by being not the be the first ever. The first ever team to win. Six Super Bowls. We became Sixburg after we beat the Arizona Cardinals. And We won this ring, this one. We won that ring. We made history against the Arizona Cardinals. And that Super Bowl was the greatest Super Bowl in history. Steelers became the first to win six rings. Roethlisberger becomes a two-time Super Bowl champion. I will play some highlights from that Super Bowl. First one, number 92, James, James Harrison, the 100 yarder. 15 seconds. Well, they can pick down here from the gun. Steelers show blitz. Here they come. He gets it away and it's picked off at the goal line. There's a flag thrown on the run back, James Harrison. To run it back, and Harrison is past midfield. Harrison going down the sideline. Harrison still on his feet. Harrison is going to go all the way and waiting for the official to get there. Touchdown is signal. A flag is down on the run back, back at the nine yard line. Touchdown. Personal foul, grasping the face mask. Offense number 74. Foul third during the last time down. The touchdown counts. Unbelievable. Harrison completely gassed. The call is on Reggie Wells. It's a 100-yard interception return. 
Look at that. 100 yards! The longest defensive play in history of the Super Bowl. Look at that! Unbelievable! Man, give me goals, it's, very it's the longest play in Super Bowl history. It's a 100 yard interception return. And, let, and now, the one that everyone been complaining about for years. Not this one. Second and ten. Game blitz. And here they come. And Roethlisberger escapes and throws. I'll get one with better quality. Little slot left. Washington wow. outside left. Roethlisberger. Has time. Throws to the back of the end zone. And it is caught for a touchdown by Holmes. To the corner of the Look end zone. Up, baby! Does he get both feet down? Left definitely. Did the right tap as well. With control. He had that control both feet that. down. I say yes. I, I say do both too. feet in, both feet down. Look at that. And control of the ball. Amazing. Three Cardinals are there. You've got three guys. In triple coverage, he caught it. He had it on the other side in the play before, though. Right, the right foot is coming up, but it's down on the ground. Far Factory, I, I actually have a Antonio Holmes jersey. Is it down on the ground? Does he toe tap it as he has control of the ball? He has control all the way through. Look at that. And that's NBC, it. you see, two feet down. That is just down. That's the whole issue right there. After review, the receiver controlled the football, came down on both toes, inbounds, touchdown. Those two made, those two plays made history in that Super Bowl. We became six Berg after that Super Bowl. There's the catch. For all the still haters to look at, there's the catch. And there ain't nothing y'all could do about it. Now let's analyze the week 14 matchup. We discussed some history between the Cards and the Steelers. Let's analyze what's going on currently. Now, it, now we know the fact that, you know, teams have wholly changed. Um, since that's the Super Bowl, we, it's fact. But the Cards have Colin Murray as their quarterback. Conbury is good at escaping the pressure. I'll give him that. But knowing our defense, we could get to Kyle Murray. We could get to him. I'm going to get to him a lot. No, the, the, the Cardinals are not a garbage team. They have a garbage record. The Cardinals are just a um, in development team. They're just in development. They do have some good players. Patrick Peterson. Buda Baker. Chandler Jones. Byron Murphy. That's his defense. That's the defensive players I see that are good. Offense, they have uh, David Johnson, Laugh Fitzgerald, and Christian Kirk. And Kyle Murray. Other than that, uh, call them like an on the ride. Uh, I'll say on the ride. Indiv are, are a, a, a team that's a, a, a rebuild team. They're a team that's rebuilding. This could be a trap game for the Steelers. But, in all in all, I see the Steelers coming out this game with a win. It will be a close game only if the cards can somehow escape our defense. If they can't, they're going to be in for a rough night.
Now let's discuss defense for the Steelers. You have T.J. Watt. This guy's a freaking monster. The man's a, a, a family prodigy monster. You've got Bud Dupree, who's, who is the quick linebacker on the, who, who, who can generate pressure instantly. That man, Bud Dupree. Cam Hayward, the tough defensive lineman. You have Devin Bush, one tough rookie. The, the biggest, baddest rookie of this year, in my opinion, the def uh, defensively. Man can cover a lot. Vince Williams. Joe Hayden, who is a beast. Uh, Mark Barron, who is, he's kind of good. He's like average. Steven Nelson, who this guy is just, he's just flat out good. And Minka Fitzpatrick, who has been balling this whole year. That's the defense. The offense, now offensively we got Duck starting at, 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 for the Steelers. Thank you. Duck is starting. And for the offense, you got Deontay Johnson, James Washington, who is a on the rise receiver. Deontay Johnson is also an on the rise receiver. I think it's just Smith Schuster back. I'm not sure. You gotta check the injury report if Smith Schuster is back. Let's look at the injury report right now. Yeah. So, Carter and Juju are out. So, we have Jalen Samuels, who's been good. Benny Snell, who's an on the rise rookie for a running back. The offensive line, who's pretty much good. And speaking of offensive line, Marquis Pouncey is now returning to the field. There to Marquis Bouncy. Got this man. Best center in the league. Marquis Bouncy we have. A phenomenal offensive line we have. So what do I see from the Steelers? Offense. I want the Steelers offensive line to protect the quarterback, as usual. Protect the quarterback. Limit the amount of sacks. Delvin Hodges, he's been known to uh, do things under pressure, but... Delvin Hodges, don't you always say is don't. And I will keep saying this to you. Steelers should not make the game interesting. All we care about is winning the game. We should not make this like playing, like I say, down to the competition. The offense should not be playing down to the competition. The offense should be doing what they're supposed to do. And that is win games. No down to the competition crap. We don't want none of that. So, that's all I have to say for the Steelers. For the offense to be successful. We need to play this like how we played in Cleveland, minus the, comp the, the competitive crap, minus that. We do, the Steelers should not be playing down to the competition. We should be just going to Arizona and get out of with a win. That's what I expect to see from Pittsburgh, okay? What's the more to say? Uh, like, subscribe for more updates, and uh, click the bell button for notifications. I'm out now, so peace. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go! Let's get the win in Arizona and move to 8 and 5.